I was going to make a carburetor service video, then I found water in the fuel. That's what these bubbles are, seen in the bottom of the fuel tank. Let's talk about how and why this happens, but more importantly, how to fix it. I've added dye to this water so it can be better seen when mixed with gasoline. When the dyed water is added to fuel, it is clearly seen in the bottom of the container. This is because water is heavier than gasoline, so it will accumulate in low spots of the fuel system, like the fuel tank, fuel filter, or carburetor bowl. Because gasoline is a petroleum product, water will not readily mix with it. Water does mix with alcohol and bonds with it at a complex molecular level. Alcohol also blends with gasoline. Ethanol is a type of alcohol. Ethanol blended fuel is sold at nearly every gas pump as E10, containing up to 10% ethanol per gallon of fuel. When small amounts of water is added to the ethanol blended gasoline in this container, it readily mixes and no longer accumulates at the bottom as seen earlier. Water can enter the fuel system through condensation, defective gas caps, or contaminated gas cans. When ethanol blended fuel accumulates too much water, all the alcohol and water separates from the gasoline and accumulates at the bottom of fuel system components. This is called phase separation. This water and alcohol mix is very corrosive, often resulting in a corroded and non-functioning carburetor. Using ethanol blended gasoline older than 30 days increases the risk of phase separation and water accumulation. Water contaminated fuel system components should be drained as completely as possible, though not all water can be removed because it often clings to surfaces. Draining the fuel system can be done using a fuel transfer pump, or on this engine, removing the fuel petcock bowl and draining into a suitable container. Ironically, the best way to remove the remaining water is with a bit of alcohol. I like to add an alcohol-based fuel system additive to a gallon of fuel, at no more than a 10% ratio, and immediately run this mixture through the engine. Using fresh, ethanol blended gasoline will also remove any remaining water. Just be sure to use any ethanol blended fuel within 30 days to prevent the problem from reoccurring. 